Well, we learned how to expand them. Guess what the opposite of expanding is going to be? And you can see the word right up there, condensing. We're not talking about air conditioners, condensers, and stuff like that. I'm not even sure what all that is. But here, let's look at this. Let's condense these. Well, first off, let's look at the first one here. Now, notice we have a plus sign, and we have a 3, and we have a 1 half. We can move the ex to exponent parts, or do we add, ah, that's what we did. We moved the exponent parts first. We moved the 1 half to the exponent and this 3 to up there. Now what can I do with that plus sign? I can now make those a times and put them together. And x to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of x, and this one's cubed. I'm done. That's it. I just made it the longer thing here look shorter. So let's look at the second one. Oh, I see a 2. That means it can be exponent there. And I see a minus, so I know it's going to be a divide. So I move that 2 to the exponent part. Now I got a minus, so all I got to do is what? Rewrite it as a division problem and getting rid of that second little natural log. That's it. That's all the harder it is. Ooh, this one looks a little bit tricky. I'll tell you what, first off, let's leave that one third alone. And notice what we did with our plus sign. We just got rid of it and took the x times that. That, got, that way we don't have to write log twice. We only have to write the log once. Now, guess what we can do? I see this one third right here. Guess where it's going to go? Right there. And guess what that one third means? It's not a square root, but a cube root. There I go. I'm done. That's it. I condensed those big old long looking things to look like these shorter ones right here. Gosh. Now we're going to do some of that today too.